The Nord 1500 Griffin was an experimental high-speed interceptor aircraft developed in the 1950s by Nord Aviation, a French state-owned aerospace manufacturer. Conceived during a period of intense interest in supersonic flight, the Griffin was part of France's effort to explore ramjet propulsion and delta-wing aerodynamics. It was intended as a follow-on to the Nord Gerfo, incorporating a more ambitious pr propulsion system and higher performance goals. Development began in 1953 with the issuance of a letter of intent to build two prototypes. The design, led by John Gaultier, emerged from research conducted on the Arsenal 1301 glider, which tested delta and swept wing configurations. The Griffin featured a delta wing tailless layout with small fixed canards on the forward fuselage to counter nose-down tendencies during transonic flight. One of the most innovative aspects was the dual propulsion system, a combination of a turbojet engine for takeoff and low-speed flight and a ramjet engine for high-speed performance. The Griffin first prototype, which flew for the first time on 20th of September 1955, was powered only by a Société Nationale d'Etude et de Construction de Moteurs d'Aviation ATAR 101 G21, afterburning turbojet producing 37.3 kilonewtons, 8,400 pounds force of thrust. It achieved a maximum speed of Mach 1.3, serving primarily to validate the aircraft's aerodynamic behavior and systems. The more advanced Griffin II made its first flight on 23rd of January, 1957. It featured a coaxial engine configuration, a non-afterburning ATAR 101E3 turbojet, 34.3 kN of thrust, embedded within the duct of a large ramjet. The ramjet had a diameter of 1.5 meters, requiring major fuselage redesigns, including a lengthened and widened rear section and a larger air intake. The propulsion unit's combined mass reached 1,700 kilograms. Griffin II reached Mach 2.19, 2,316 kilometers per hour or 1,040 miles per hour at an altitude of 15,240 meters, 50,000 feet on the 13th of October 1959, piloted by Major Andre Turcat. On the 5th of October 1959, it set an official airspeed record for a 100-kilometer closed circuit at 1,643 kilometers per hour, a feat for which Turcat was awarded the Harman Trophy. During ramjet-powered flight, the ramjet contributed up to 80% of the thrust, producing 41.2 kilonewtons, 4,200 kilogram force, at 15,000 meters, and 24.5 kilonewton, 2,500 kilogram force, at 18,000 meters. Structurally, the Griffin was built from duralumin alloys to minimize weight, but it faced challenges from heat stress due to kinetic heating at high speeds. The ramjet's exhaust also repeatedly caused damage to the rear fuselage, one of many issues that plagued long-term feasibility. Another key problem was the ramjet's lack of throttle control. It was either on or off, with limited modulation via fuel-air mixture adjustments. The Griffin was tested until 1961, but despite support from the United States Air Force during parts of the testing phase, the project was eventually canceled due to high costs, limited military application, and the complexity of the propulsion system. Only two aircraft were ever built, Griffin I, retired in 1957, and Griffin II, which flew last on the 5th of June 1961. Today, the only surviving Griffin is displayed at the Musée de l'Air et de l'Espace near Paris, standing as a rare symbol of France's bold experimentation with ramjet technology and delta-wing design in the dawn of the supersonic age.